in this section we will study functional plot so let's begin by selecting blank workbook and head over to plot go to function plot and and then choose new to the plot so this is going to help us write our function and from the function make a plot so you have your function written over here and then you have your x value so you have y of x and your x values are from one point is from one point to another and you have number of points also you can come to this side and insert some inbuilt functions or equations so let's say we want to try an exponent so let's just try and make 100 point of an exponent from 2 to 20 and yeah and build this so there you go so you've built an exponential graph and you can edit it as we've always done so you can do same edit the scale the lines and ticks and all you can also double click on this and it will first bring the function so you can even change your function again or edit your function as you go so let's say we want to add two times to it and hit apply and it changes you can also add let's say three here but you always have to add time so anytime you have this color it means it's not complete so make sure you complete what you have so you have to add the multiplication sign and you have it here so these are some of the things that you can do using this tool you can also click this side and bring back the formula and maybe you want to change it to a square root or something or add some more signs or maybe write some more you can do it here you can also come to line and edit it as we always do so we have solid you can change the styles you can change the width change the colors change the transparency you can edit all these add drop lines and labels as we always do for the line editing so let's come back and this time go to new 2d parametric so this is quite the same you just have to write so this time it's a function of t so you have two equations as a function of t and you can write your equations so let's let's just write one a times let's try a times cos t then let's do plus let's do b divided by n and let's do times cos and let's do n times t so we have this equation let's just copy it and bring it to the y side and change the causes to signs or the cosines to sine and let's make this a negative and make this a sign however you can see that our equations are not complete because we have these shaded areas so we have to come and define these constants so if you come here the name you double click then you say a then come to value you double click let's call it two and then you can right click and add new and then let's go to b 
and go to value let's make it one and then you right click add new let's go to c um n and make it two so let's just copy this in case it doesn't come out right we don't lose it and we go okay so there you go you have a parametric plot and you have your table also generated from the functions that you provided you can double click on it and adjust so once you adjust it maybe you make this seven and you hit apply things change but i think the scale has changed so that is something to note and yeah that will be it for parametric so this brings us to the end of 2d function plot let's move to 3d function plot see you in the next lecture